Hi, I'm Annalise, here in the Happy Puku Kitchen with chef and teacher Stephen Wilson. Kitchens are an important place for families, where parents work through big decisions about their children. And for Christian parents, one of the most important of those do we, don't we discussions is about sending your child to a Christian school. You want great learning outcomes, and you care a lot about finding a school that feeds your child's heart and mind and spirit. Is that going to happen for your children at a Christian school? Well, that's what we're here in the kitchen today to discuss. Now, Stephen, I know Christ-centered education worked pretty well for your whānau, mm -hmm. and your kids are all grown up now. Mm -hmm. How did it go for them? Well, my children really loved it. They thrived in the environment, and they were able to, you know, reach their full potential and uh, become the leaders they are in their chosen fields. That's so great. I feel the same about my own Christian education as well. Now, we know the research that Christian schools deliver high quality education, mm -hmm. but spiritually, is it regular school with a side of Jesus or is it something more? Um, a lot more. It's like uh, Jesus' parable of the leaven, how the kingdom of heaven is like yeast and how just like what I'm doing, how the yeast uh, spreads throughout the flour and goes throughout the whole dough. All the way through? Mm -hmm, all the way through. value, identity, and purpose. Act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with God. I'm learning to keep God at the center of my relationships, my school life, and just everything. Love him when I bet as myself. We want kids to be able to grow and listen to God's call and follow that calling for their future. We're learning to love prayer, scripture, and worship. Prayer is really important and at school here, you know, the children are constantly praying, you know, in the classroom when we come to school events. There is such a huge acceptance here of all different kinds of people. The warmth from the students and the teacher, I felt God is here, Holy Spirit is here. As educators, we're here to equip our students for their Christ-centred future. Something that's alive and living to me today, then that's what I share with my students. His word and who he is um, and what he's doing in their lives needs to permeate through everything. I'm learning how I'm a child of God, that I'm his son, and that um, he has plans for me. I'd teach my students that a relationship with God never starts or stops in a day. Scripture in my life is uh, meaningful, it's relatable, and it's guidance. I'm learning that there is truth, that there is a right and a wrong, and that it's not just about what I choose to believe. Yeah, day to day it looks like um, we, we weave our faith into everything that we do. And I think when children know their value um, and knowing that God loves them, it gives them a great foundation to grow and flourish in life. Some of the values we're learning are respect, integrity, humility and leadership. We look at it for, through a biblical worldview, but also teaching the kids that we're doing things not just for ourselves, we're doing them as though we're doing them for God. And it's really cool as well how we can incorporate Christian learning into our everyday learning through our subjects as well. And a lot of people would think that the, the Christian part is um, just a small part that happens within the day and when you look at the ingredients of bread and you see a tiny piece of yeast, it's hard to understand the impact that it has on the end result. And without the yeast, obviously the bread won't rise and won't become everything it's supposed to become. Hi, my name is Jasper Damo and I've been a reporter for a Filipino TV show. I've sung Nessun Dharma with Sola Mio I'm 12 years old and I feel like my whole school is with me. Last year, I feel like I wasted. I'll just sort of be there for the sake of being there. I thought all the worldly things were cool and I thought um, that was my, where my joy was at. Um, and it wasn't so, I had an encounter from God and then that changed me from the inside out. It gave me new desires to um, see amazing things in my school, to see the school saved, I've seen some amazing moves of the Lord in the school. Yeah, it's been cool. Those are some fantastic facts, insights, and examples, and I can relate to them. I myself went to a Christian school, 
As we were saying, all the way through from kindergarten to year 13, my parents were on the board and I even went back to the campus to get married at the school chapel there because it was such a beautiful and important place for me. I'm really passionate about seeing young children encounter God and know Him for themselves, to understand foundational truths and to learn who God really is. It's so important to me, I've become a children's pastor. <laughs> so you could say I'm a pretty strong advocate for Christian education. I am beyond grateful that my parents gave me the opportunity to couple my learning, my education, with an understanding of the outworking of faith in my life. I was surrounded by faith-filled friends that helped me on the journey as we navigated what it meant to be a follower of Christ. But that's what happens when your child, you know, is still at a Christian school. And what's even better is seeing a child going out into the world as a strong and a uh, quick disciple. Yes, shall we see some of those stories? Before attending a Christian school, I attended a few public schools. The reason why I've been changing schools was because I wanted to study law. And every single public school told me that I couldn't do it because I wasn't academically at the level to study law. And then one day I persuaded my parents that I wanted to go to a Christian school because they believed that anything is possible with God's help. And I went for an interview and when I told the school manager that I wanted to study law, the first thing he said to me was that if that's what God has in store for you, it will surely happen. And with their love and support and encouragement, I eventually found Jesus and now I have graduated with a law degree. And what this process really taught me was that if God has something placed in your heart, it will come true no matter what, no matter what people in the world say. And no matter how hard it is and no matter what obstacles you face. I love that. I want that for my children one day. Discovering their potential at school in a loving and supportive environment, then going on to do amazing things in life. Hi, my name is Dominic, and since graduating school, I've had the opportunity to become an international cellist. My passion and purpose in life is to be able to share the gospel through the music that I create. But it was only after I graduated and started living in a kind of high intensity field where I would be touring across the world doing performances that I realized how the school that I attended shaped me into the person I am. The teachers, they really um, wanted me to be the best version of me, not just academically, but as a person. The process of going through this whole school that shaped me um, into the person I could become. The new organization that I started called Kingdom Performing Arts, and it's a organization to create a new stream for musicians to kind of bring back the original intentions of why music was created in the first place, which is to glorify God. My passion is definitely providing medical care to people and sort of listening to people's stories and helping them along the journey to wellness. That's why I'm studying medicine. A couple of values that were really instilled in me were things like compassion and empathy and I got a heart for service and being the hands and feet of Jesus in what I do and I think that really played a role in me choosing a career where I have a really tangible impact on people's lives. Hi, my name is Matt Warner and I'm a producer at The Project on TV3. It's not always easy being a Christian in the media, but I really believe that it's important for us to have Christian voices in the media. I believe that uh, my Christian education was a great training ground to help me grow my faith, ask questions, and become equipped to do what I'm doing today. Uh, it's my desire to um, bring God's love into my workplace, uh, to share it with my colleagues, and to uh, just help further God's kingdom in everything I do. So for these people, their Christian school has definitely amplified their sense of Jesus as the central, sustaining love in their lives. Let's look at the elements, the ingredients of Christ-centered education that help foster this deep foundation of faith. 
Jesus is last uh, words to us before he went up. It was to go to all nations, make disciples. Um, and actually that's at the heart of what uh, Christian education is all about. It's beautiful how they can encourage and minister to and teach and train the whole child, spiritual as well as intellectual and physical. It's just such a special place. The Lord is here and He's in the teachers and He's with them and He speaks through them. Um, they don't just teach the kids, they disciple them. And they're not just teaching them for life, teach and train them and prepare them for eternal life. They're really making disciples. My passion is seeing uh, the students in my care and throughout the whole school become all that they can be. Right down from the principal to the teachers to the support staff, you know, even the grounds guys, their um, heart is, for, is completely for the students and to see them grow as whole people. Because now that I've come to this school, I've realised Faith isn't just believing in God, it's being kind and showing others who God is and what He, what he came down to do. Having that Christ-centred teaching, that, that was really important, that was very key. And some of the core values that, that they're learning at, at such a young age. You know, things like perseverance, resilience, um, which is really important, giving them really um, strong lessons early. And so I really like to, yeah, start my classes with a prayer and yeah, showing them how to pray and then providing them those opportunities as well to uh, develop their, their skills in their Christian faith. Sometimes it's sitting down and praying with someone that's having a really hard time and having that one-on-one -on -one time praying together and seeking God's wisdom. It's great that they can openly discuss their faith and grow as Christians. I believe that we include God across all curriculum areas. To have a strong biblical worldview is really important. When we do that, the kids develop across the, the physical, the academic and the spiritual. We also want our kids to have hearts after God's own heart, so that whole spiritual development is really key to, to what we're doing here. That is actually my passion the person, not so much the content of my subject. And the most, other most important thing I would like them to know is that their identity is in Christ. And no matter what and what the world says about them, they are loved and they are wanted. And they're not just here to tick a box and to you know, do their class, that they are here to, to help them grow as a whole person. And that way their faith becomes their own. And and they're supported um, in that by staff and by other Christian friends. Um, but they also learn to have those really robust and deep conversations that um, deepen their relationship with God and their understanding of His Word. As a principal of a law firm, we're always looking for people that have a bit of added character to them. One of the rules you can never get away from in law is that philosophy breeds methodology. Get the right people with the right character, we can build the right technical competency. Don't have that right character, you can't do it. So we're really pleased to have um, HCS graduates who have had that character built into them. It shows real depth how they care for our clients. Uh, they really see them as something other than just numbers and they have a real attitude of being able to walk the journey with people. And that's something that you know we really believe they've been taught well at the school here. This is what happens when you work the ingredients of a Christ-centered perspective all the way through a child's education. Your children become adults who are confidently equipped for life in mind, heart, and spirit. That's good for them, and it's good for all the other people they're gonna impact in their lives. Thank you for spending time in the kitchen with Stephen and me, Annalise, chewing over these questions about Christian schools. Yeah, it's a lot more than school with just a side of Jesus. All the good food you could want in your children's lives and it's worked all the way through.